Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, of course, everybody can tell I'm the junior member of this committee. Uh, uh, and I came on this committee for one reason. I knew how important the infrastructure challenge was in this country and in this Congress. Um, we all have our parochial interests, state by state, whether it's Iowa, whether it's my state of Alabama and everything. We know that a lot of our infrastructure is crumbling. We know that a lot of our ports are inadequate. Uh, the question is, Madam Secretary, and you've, you've uh, been a Secretary of Labor before, and I pre appreciate your commitment to, to uh, public service, and I think you bring a different wrinkle to, to the uh, transportation challenges as Secretary, but we've got to create a critical mass here this year, if there's any way to do it. And it's not going to be easy. Uh, and we've got to look at the macro challenge that we have and how are we going to do it. This committee will play a big role. The, obviously, the Finance Committee will play a role. The Appropriations Committee will play a role, ultimately, uh, in, in this. But if we're going to grow our economy and create the jobs, and I think the President's right on this, we've got to address our infrastructure inadequacy. You're in the forefront of it. I do believe, and we've talked about all this today some, but it's complex, and I'm sure it's not all worked out yet. There's got to be a combination of other things. But there's so much more money in the private sector if we figure out a way to leverage it, you know, up here. But we're going to have to get more money for the public sector, and it's not going to be easy. But I think it's incumbent upon us to create that critical mass and we've got to do it. I would be interested, and I'm not going to ask you this today specifically, but how do we leverage the private sector? There are a lot of creative minds in this country, uh, in the finance area. Um, how, how do we do this? If we, if we do it everywhere else, but if we could do it in the transportation sectors. You can drive around or you can ride a train, you can do this, and see or you can go to a port and see what good infrastructure does and what it attracts in the private sector. We've got to do this. You know, 60 years ago, more or less, we built the high, started the interstate highway system. God knows that was a monumental thing. But we can't rest on that. A lot of it's crumbling, as you know. Our population's growing. I'm looking at the Senate from California, the most populous state, and the biggest challenge for infrastructure. But all of us, is, my state's 23rd, about nearly 5 million people, and we have those same problems everywhere. But I, I'm going to go back to this. We've got to figure out a way to do critical mass, have we not, Madam Secretary? I couldn't, uh, I couldn't agree with you more, and the President does as well. And thank you for bringing up that infrastructure creates good paying jobs oh. as well, oh. because that's another um, topic that the president constantly talks about and is very concerned with as well. Public-private partnerships is not one way of doing things, but it's, uh, it is a method by which the private sector would be allowed to participate uh -huh. in public sector financing. As we have just heard, New York State does not allow public-private partnerships. Mm -hmm. And so huge swaths of um, the private sector are unable to invest in a very critical part of our country by people who, one might say, are actually the most uh, prosperous of all in one of the states to do so. So um, we also need to be incentivizing and discouraging. We need to be incentivizing um, state and uh, local um, entities to engage more in the, in, to engage more the private sector, to not discriminate against the private sector in their desire to help finance uh, where they can uh, the infrastructure. But there's so much capital looking for good investment in the private sector, a solid investment. The infrastructure could be, if it's done right, a, a solid investment for a long time. A lot of our endowments, our universities looking for good return on their money. Um, everybody is. Look at the savings accounts today. We have a lot of money in this country. 
but we've got to marshal it and put it together. That's going to be, you're going, you and the leadership, it's going to be one of our challenges, but we have to do it. If we don't, we're failing the American people, are we not? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Senator Shelby.